The Fermi Paradox presents a puzzling question. Why haven't we found any evidence of alien civilizations? Despite our knowledge of biology and physics, the vast night sky remains devoid of such signs. This could be because our search is limited. Focusing mainly on Earth-like life forms, we may have overlooked the possibility that life exists in extraordinary and unexpected corners of the universe. Earth's distinctiveness may extend to the existence of life, urging us to broaden our perspective and explore unfamiliar realms. Venus Venus resembles Earth, albeit as if Earth were cast into infernal depths. Both planets share similar size, mass, and surface gravity, making Venus an enticing prospect for life. Early 20th century astronomers peering at Venus through their telescopes envisioned a lush tropical swarm teeming with organisms. However, space probes revealed a different reality. Scorching surface temperatures that could liquefy lead and a toxic atmosphere with pressures nearly a hundred times greater than Earth's. Despite this, certain parts of Venus, higher in the atmosphere, offer potential havens for organisms. Here, lower pressures, cooler temperatures and reduced sulfuric acid levels may allow for the existence of single-celled life caught in high winds. These organisms could adopt a dual-stage life cycle, hibernating when falling towards the surface as droplets and reactivating in the habitable zone. Although a recent observation of high phosphine levels in Venus's atmosphere sparked hope, subsequent investigations indicated an erroneous detection. If Venus harbors life, further exploration is imperative. Under ice Astronomers focused their search on Earth-like planets in specific star orbits due to a crucial requirement for life as we know it, the presence of liquid water. If a planet is too close to its star, water boils away. If it's too far, water freezes. However, recent discoveries challenge this assumption. Certain regions outside the habitable zone of our Sun may conceal vast oceans. Jupiter's icy moons, such as Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, of water ice layers covering potential reservoirs of water, where life could potentially evolve, it's believed by some. Despite Europa's smaller size compared to Earth, it could harbor more than four times the amount of water found in Earth's oceans beneath its icy crust, sustained in liquid form by the immense pressures exerted by Jupiter's gravity. With knowledge of life thriving in Earth's deep seas, the possibility arrives that life may have found a way to survive on these icy moons. Multiple space probes have been and will continue to be launched toward Jupiter to study its moons and search for signs of life. Comets Captivating celestial phenomena exhibit dazzling tails as they journey towards the Sun from the outer solar system. Rich in water ice, they may have played a vital role in Earth's life formation, according to some, contributing much of our planet's water through collisions. Though the possibility of life existing on comets seems unlikely due to their frigid, distant nature and lack of atmosphere, the Rosetta mission detected chemicals associated with biological life on Comet 67P churyomov gerasimenko While the notion of comet-based life remains debated, the presence of complex hydrocarbons on comets hints at their potential significance in Earth's life origins, at least as far as it aligns with the panspermia theory. Meteorites Meteorites, often overlooked by many except for making wishes, hold significant scientific value for studying the solar system. While most meteorites originate from the asteroid belt or remnants of the early solar system, some come from other celestial bodies. These rocks can be ejected from the surface of planets or moons during significant collisions and eventually find their way to Earth. Among them, several meteorites linked to Mars have been discovered, containing microscopic structures that some scientists believe could be fossils of Martian life. In 1996, President Clinton announced such a finding in a Mars meteorite, though subsequent scrutiny arose. Nonetheless, other researchers have reached similar conclusions regarding different Mars meteorites, and some meteorites have even been found to contain the fundamental building blocks of proteins. So the next time you spot a shooting star, perhaps wish for it to carry irrefutable evidence of extraterrestrial life, within its cosmic journey. Gas Giants In 1976, Carl Sagan and Edwin Salpeter delved into the possibility of life existing on Jupiter, a gas giant with a predominantly hydrogen and helium atmosphere containing methane, ammonia, and water. Despite its initial uncompromising conditions, being distant from the Sun, lacking a solid surface, and experiencing high wind speeds, 
Sagan and Solpeter proposed four potential types of organisms that could inhabit Jupiter's upper atmosphere. The first type, called sinkers, would resemble algae in Earth's oceans. Floaters, on the other hand, would be enormous creatures spanning kilometers, utilizing atmospheric gases for movement and holding onto hydrogen and helium to remain buoyant. Additionally, they hypothesized the presence of hunters and scavengers in the Jovian atmosphere. While such life forms have not been found thus far, other scientists speculate the gas giants orbiting other stars could potentially harbor extraordinary and unfamiliar life forms. In liquid methane, Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the solar system's second largest, is enveloped by a dense atmosphere, giving it an orange and hazy appearance. The true nature of Titan's surface was only unveiled when probes reached its vicinity. What emerged was a world characterized by an icy crust, erupting water and ammonia volcanoes, and a remarkable feature, lakes. Unlike Earth's water-based lakes, these titanium lakes are composed of liquid methane and ethane due to the moon's extremely cold temperatures. Could life have evolved to thrive in these hydrocarbon liquids instead of water? Hypothetical models propose organisms inhabiting these lakes, relying on hydrogen and acetylene from the atmosphere for their energy metabolism. Such cells would necessitate radical deviations from the structure of Earth's cells. Traditional phospholid membranes would disintegrate in Titan's hydrocarbon lakes, leading to speculation that titanium cells could employ acrylonite trial, a molecule present on Titan, to form flat, rigid and crystalline membranes, in stark contrast to the flexible membranes found on Earth. Asleep. What if the reason for our inability to detect alien life is that extraterrestrial civilizations have chosen to enter a state of prolonged hibernation? This intriguing notion is proposed by a team of researchers who put forward the Astivation Hypothesis. The rationale behind this hypothesis lies in the efficient allocation of resources by these civilizations. Currently, we find ourselves in the relatively early stages of the universe's timeline, at least believed by some to be within around 14 billion years since the Big Bang. Galaxies remain active, continuously birthing new stars. However, a future awaits where the last star will perish, leaving behind a colder and darker universe. This scenario could be precisely what these aliens are patiently anticipating. By accumulating vast amounts of energy now and entering a dormant state, they could awaken in the distant future and utilize their energy reserves more effectively, taking advantage of the prevailing physical conditions of the universe. The research suggests that by enduring a wait of trillions of years, these aliens could accomplish approximately 10 to the power of 30 times more work. Black Holes A black hole is probably the last place you want to find yourself. If you slip below the event horizon, there is literally no way that you can escape its fearsome gravity. If a black hole is actively absorbing matter, then the entire region around it will be filled with high-energy radiation that would kill most life. However, some researchers say that black holes might just offer sanctuary to organisms. Black holes are not magical entities that just suck up everything around them. They pull in matter by gravity just like any other massive object. This means that if you're traveling at the right speed and in the right direction, you can orbit them like the Earth orbits the Sun. Planets could form from the matter surrounding a black hole. Even the absence of the Sun in a black hole planetary system might not be too much of a problem. The energy needed to support life could come from the searing hot accretion disk which forms around many black holes. Dust One of the reasons that we're not finding life in space is because we're looking at planets and not at space itself. Computer models produced by physicists in 2007 said that interstellar dust that is electrically charged could organize itself into something that behaves in a very lifelike manner. Atoms in space often exist as a plasma of charged ions, having had electrons stripped off by radiation. Unlike their familiar plasma of the sun, this plasma can be cold, which allows the ions to interact relatively non-violently. The simulations of such plasmas in low-gravity environments showed them forming into filaments that corkscrewed a little like DNA. Once you have structures that can self-assemble, you can get evolution going, is the theory. Different forms of filament were studied and were seen to evolve over time as they created more copies of themselves. Maybe aliens are out there? There were just more out there than we ever imagined. Stars Perhaps the most extreme form of alien life ever suggested by a serious researcher could be lurking within the inferno of active stars. 
If they exist, then they would not be made from ordinary matter or even objects that have been discovered. Cosmic strings and magnetic monopoles would be needed for life to evolve within stars. Both of these are theoretical ideas in physics, but many scientists suspect they might exist in the universe. Researchers have suggested that cosmic strings might be captured within the gravity of stars. Once inside the high temperature of a star's interior, which is also filled with strong magnetic fields, the strings and monopoles would be twisted into complex forms. These shapes might be able to replicate themselves using other strings and monopoles. This is analogous to DNA copying itself. The self-replicating strings could then evolve as they made copies of themselves with slight variations. Over time, the complexity of these stringy life forms could continue to grow into something very lifelike as we recognize it. Intriguingly, the authors of this research suggest that life forms might be detectable as they influence the energy output of the stars they inhabit. So if the sun ever looks brighter than you expect, it might just be our neighbors saying hi. While concrete evidence of alien life remains elusive, these theories challenge us to expand our perspectives and push the boundaries of our knowledge. As scientific advancements continue and exploration of the cosmos progresses, humanity may one day unravel the mysteries of life beyond Earth, shedding light on our place in the grand tapestry of the universe.